There was something from the beginning uh, strange about this uh, storm of the earthquakes that we are seeing now in the March 2024. It was a smaller and sharper, the point of the harmonic tremors. This is a blue line, which is the tectonic tremors, earthquakes. It was rising. Now it has already started to fall, so it's not going any higher. And it's not going to extend, actually. It seems it's going down. When you look at the cluster of the earthquakes under time zone, you can see, actually, that these are the magnitude and the time. And they can be nicely boxed, and they're now almost finished. That was a cluster like a cluster of the grapes. And when we look at the, also the map of the Reykjanes Peninsula in the Iceland, we see that the earthquakes are dissipating, practically. They are clustering now the less, as you can see here. Also, the um, earthquake chart in the time zone, in a different way you can see in the time chart, shows that earthquakes were started uh, in the south of the Sundunka craters and uh, has ended up now in the Hagerfell. According to the Meteorological Office of Iceland, probably there will be a, a magma flow without an eruption in this case. So it cannot make it probably to the surface. We will not see magma erupting as lava at the surface. Uh, so uh, this is the chart. This is the map actually of the potential uh, scenario one that we had from the meteorological office showing that uh, Sundunka craters, southern part of it is the top part, and then lower part is the Hagofell. And we now know that it has ended there. We will not see something like we saw in this uh, cartoon about the lateral flow of the magma, then reaching the dike through a seal and then erupting. It's potentially probably we don't have any eruption at this time, maybe later.